Okay, folks, Dr. Freedom with your time some Dr. News. News from in and around the universe that may or may not affect you on some deep emotional level that can make you go, ooh, that's nice. Um, yeah, uh, lots of weirdness going on out there. Um, as you can tell, it's become that time of year when everybody is right now sitting back waiting for more Doctor Who news. And the problem is there's nothing coming out as of right now. So what's going on is it's time for the fluff pizza. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to have fluff. Like, rank your doctor. What's your favorite doctor? Or what's your favorite episode? What's your favorite era? And crap like that. Or we go back and review and contrast why we felt that the ice, the ice warriors had no testicles. You know, stuff like that. But And, of course, we Whovians will argue about it, about whether or not the Ice Warriors had testicles. It's just, you know, cold environment. Would they be having a sack hanging out in the freezing cold on Mars where it could be irradiated? Uh, you see what I mean? So, yeah, for you, you can probably tell, and no, it's not the new the new filter. It's my voice. And that is because it really pissed me off, too, because I was starting to make headway on Comes the Imperator Chapter 5. I was already in the middle of Scene 2 or 3. I can't remember now. And then I went into work the following day because we had to work on our Saturday. And next thing you know, wham, I got this tickle on my throat towards the end of the day. I'm like, oh, God, please, just please. I hope it's just allergies. Because I've had that happen before where it's just an allergy thing because – when you're working at a place, you know, where there's a lot of oil in the air, that happens, you know. So, but of course, unfortunately, no. By the time the weekend was over, it got progressively worse. And then next thing you know, ugga mugga, I am on my ass. Okay, so let's get to what I do have. Let's show what I do have. Okay, when? Here we go. Okay, now this is Sharon D. Clark's online cv i believe and if you look down here in the bottom corner she is playing a character named mary 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 quite contrary so if you're wondering what character's name is yippee skippy that is a huge freaking spoiler ain't it all right moving on okay here is obviously remember that hovering drone we saw the other day Above the Jadun, Sitara, and Zygon, whatever the hell that those things were. All right, moving on. Okay, and this is obviously some really technical stuff going on right here. Yeah, look at that. Yes, look at me. I'm a pilot. Look at that sophisticated BBC technology. He's piloting it off a of phone. Oh, that's what it looks like, doesn't it? Okay, and there's this thing, and we're, we're, oh, yeah, so move that out of the way. There is a row. I still can't believe I missed this second guy's thing. I hate to say it, but the more I zoom in on this, the more I look at this helmet, the more I want to say Jadun. I really, really do. So I really do. <laughs> so, but this is the money shot right here, and somebody else caught this over on Twitter. Um. If you take a look right here, um, especially if you look real close, what stands out in this photograph? No, nothing. Okay, you had your 10 seconds. Wow. Look at the jacket. Look at the hair. I wonder who that is standing in the background. I wonder if that was an intentional photo or not, or maybe that's just somebody, you know, in the jacket. But I, I there's a lot of people swearing up and down that, yeah, this is Jodie Whittaker on set. So, and it's the legend of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Okay. Now, I was using the Edmund Fitzgerald as the dimensions, you know, partially for the Delia Derbyshire, which is the Stargo Freighter in the audio book series we've been doing. And if you want to tune in just for fun, Please do so. We have, so the first one, Skydark, was all me doing all the voices because I wanted to do a dry run to see, you know, could I do something this stupid? You know, but that's just me. But all right. And then the second one was Death Moon, which took a bit longer. 
But, you know, that's when I brought in a multicast, and now we've got even more people involved, and the current one comes, the Imperator. So I hope people are enjoying those. Okay, but let's move on. Let's get on some more stuff. All right, well, he he. This video is up on Vimeo, you know, that other place that doesn't screw over their you know, small content people, you know, by imposing rules that people can't figure out or understand. Okay, Peter Capaldi supporting the, uh, the Kilt Walk team, you know, basically this is for, you know, donations to charity, you know, for the Kilt Walk, which is, you know, for a very, very good cause. Please run over and watch this. And by the way, that you're you're not do not adjust your television sets. The floof is gone, although it's the uh, the. Uh, I can't. I can, sorry. I just can't sing today. Okay. David Tennant reviewed the Tenth Doctor or revived the Tenth Doctor alongside his wife for a very special video. Now this was done, I believe, a couple years ago, and it's only just now surfaced. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Showing the Scottish actor returning to his famous role for a special occasion. Yeah, it was the emigration of his old friend Gary Russell to Australia in 2013. So, here's a link to the video itself right here. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm still a little bit congested. So, it's a you know, nice little, you know, it's funny as hell. Give it a watch. I'm not kidding. It's, it's definitely worth it. Okay, the unanswered questions of the Capaldi era. <laughs> so, once again, <clears throat> just some very, very interesting observations. You know, also some ones that weren't very interesting, but, you know, give on, it's, it's Whovians. We need some fluff. Okay, and of course, the TARDIS landed at the National Space Center for their weekend Doctor Who event. And some really, really nice photos, videos, and stuff like that here. If you want to go take a look at some stuff that went on. So, I mean, there was a lot of great folks who showed up for this event, as they always do. So, yeah, matter of fact, over the weekend, we, the event was held over the weekend with the Colin Baker, Peters, Davis, and Sylvester McCoy, Gemma Redgrave, David Bradley. I thought Gemma didn't make it to that one. Well, maybe I'm just I'm mistaking it for another event. So, okay, so. Okay, David Tennant accepts substantial damages over the news of the world phone hacking incident. All right, so he has accepted substantial damages to settle a high court claim over phone hacking at News of the World. So basically, oh, took the money and run, and I don't blame him. There's really weird shit going on these days. You know, it's like you can't even fart sideways without somebody picking it up, sticking it out there. Okay. Warriors Hussein is being honored with a BFI retrospective, so don't miss a chance to get some rare TV classics and dramas. And, okay, so remember everybody, Warriors Hussein was the director of the very first episode of The Doctor, along with, you know, many, many more. And, of course, you know, like I said, he's going to be honored. And there's also a BFI schedule. I could have swore he has more than one event going on there. Yeah, he does. So, be, be sure to go check that out if you're in the area and you want to go take a look at some of the stuff. Okay, here's a really good one. All right, Doctor Who and Star Trek props could fetch thousands of dollars. Now, some of the Star, Star Trek props, which I can't believe, were not sold at the big clearance sale. Uh, apparently, uh, they were taken out and they were going to be burned. So a lot of these objects are ones that were going to be burned. And also, of course, Doctor Who items, some really, really interesting displays up as well. Oh, look, here's the uniform I wore in Star Trek V. Sorry, George, no one gives a shit about Star Trek V. <laughs> I'm sorry. Matter of fact, the only reason, the only good thing that came out of Star Trek V was the fact they made Star Trek VI because Star Trek V sucked so bad and they didn't want the franchise ending on such a down note. Too bad that they all lived to see star shit dysentery. Sorry, I, I faded out. Okay, so... I faded off the Star Trek land. And also there's a Cyberman costume up. So <clears throat> some interesting things popping up there. Now, like I said, my voice is still going in and out. I'm still waiting to hear some more news. Of course, as far as we know, the South Africa stunt is over. So we'll be having to wait to hear more news. There's word going around about filming possibly in Cornwall, amongst many other places. 
We'll just have to see how that pans out. That's right. For all you who are watching, DWSR. Can't stop the signal, baby. So good night, everyone. Take care. Have a good one. See you on the flip side. And hopefully I'll be a little getting better on my antibiotics this week. So. No, my hair always looks like that after I had a weekend of dancing. So. Take care. Have a good one.